sad part that I'm feeling so freaking hype right now but we're in quarantine and no puedo ir a perrear. Tengo que perrear sola aquí en mi casa and this is, that's sad. Hey guys, it's your girl Ashley. If you're new to my channel, what's up? So today I have a tutorial on a dish look. I am so excited because this turned out so amazing. This is definitely a cool ass look to do right now when you're in quarantine. At home, me quieres perrear sola? Girl, I got you. Do this look, wear these lashes, and you do it. You are Gucci. Anyways, if you guys are interested in this look, let's get started. So, I'm already starting, but I'm applying some concealer underneath the brow bone. I use this e.l.f. concealer. Now, this is in the shade Fair Warm. This concealer is amazing, and it's, you know, affordable. The only thing is that you have to be careful when buying your shade because it's a little misleading. Like, this one I thought was, like, literally my perfect shade, but... It's actually extremely light, so I like to use it for underneath the brow bone, but not as my actual concealer right here, because it'll be a little too light for my liking. So for my eyeshadow base, I'm going to go in with this one. I've been using it a lot. I love it. This is the P. Louise Base Pro in the shade Rumor 02, and a little goes a long way. This stuff will last you so much, and they have different sizes. They have one that's, like, smaller than this one. It's made, like, this big, Then this is, like, the regular size, and they have, like, an extra large one. It's insane. Like, a little... Goes a long way with this one. Also going to be applying this underneath because I'm gonna smoke out the lower lashes as well. So with the JH33 brush, I'm going in with the color Reveal and I'm going to be applying this on the crease. So just going back and forth until I'm satisfied with the way that this looks. I always like to grab just a little bit and then keep applying it until I'm satisfied with the way that it looks. If you go in with your brush fully loaded, sometimes it's going to be a little bit hard to blend out. With browns, like neutral colors, it's easier to blend out versus if you grab, like, for example, it's like a blue or something like that. But I just want to say, you know, take your time, slowly build it up and blend out. It's just going to be better for you that way. Now, I have hooded eyes. That's why I like to bring up the color so much upward because it helps me because if not, look. This is me just resting my eyes. And then this is me lifting my eyes. So you guys now know <laughs> my uh, lazy and my hey. I'm going to go in with this JH32 brush. It doesn't have any color. I'm just going to use this to blend and smooth the color that I had previously applied. Now it's been a minute since I filmed. I know I've been, what is it, TMI? No, what? <laughs> I've been uh, MIA. That's what I meant to say, but it's, you know, for good reasons. I've been focusing on myself, on my health. I've been working out, eating better, and all that stuff. But recently, <laughs> I got an injury, and you won't believe what happened to me. Same JH32 brush, I grabbed the color Bare, and I'm going to use that as my transition shade. So above that color, I'm going to slowly apply this color to give me a nice little pop of color. I don't know how to explain things. I always suck at that. I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. But um, anyways, I have really big thighs. And what happened to me is that I took, I usually walk between three to four miles a day. That's what I've been doing. And I was walking my dog and I wore these pants that had a hole on them because, you know, big thigh problems. And well, you know, after walking two miles, my thighs were rubbing so much with the material of the pants and the hole, you know, it was rubbing. So then I got a thigh rub run. What? I got, basically my thighs got on fire. Well, not literally, but I got a burn from that. And then I tried to cover it with a Band-Aid because I wanted to continue working out. And then around the Band-Aid area, I got a rash. And it was all flesh. So it was disgusting. I might enter, you know, warning. I'm going to enter. Enter? Nunca puedo hablar. I'm going to enter a picture here. And you guys are going to see what I'm talking about. It looks really gross. It looks gross. It looks worse now because it's like drying up and it's getting all that crusty crusty stuff but i'm like bro i need to tomorrow's monday for me and i need to work out again so i need this stuff to go away because it was so hard i've been walking like a crab around the house it's <laughs> i just want to go back to living normal again 
So with a flat eyeshadow brush like this one, I grabbed the color Butt Naked. And I'm going to be applying this all over the lid. Now for this eye look, I want the eyelid area, like, you know, this section here, to be kind of not like... What's the word I'm looking for? Jesus, I can never speak. I just want this to be neutral, you know, a little bit smoky because I want the pop of color to be on the inner corner highlight and then the face jewelry that I'm going to be wearing. Honestly, I just don't even understand. Like, why can I not speak? Like, I've said this a thousand million times. Like, it's like, I know what I'm trying to say, but like everything, like a million ways of saying that one thing come to my head all at once that I just vomit words that don't make sense sometimes. So freaking annoying. But um, thank you for staying. Thank you for loving me just the way that I am. With the JH33 brush, I grabbed a little bit more of that butt naked and I'm focusing this on the crease so that I can blend out this line a little bit more smoothly. Just going back and forth in circular motions. To make this even more smoky, I used the Morphe M411 brush and I grabbed the color Nakey Nakey and I am applying this on the outer part of the eye, creating a V shape. You see that? It's already looking a smoky. We want that. We want the smoke. The eyeshadow smoke, if you know what I'm saying. I love, and I know that so many of you too, I love playing with neutral eyeshadows. I feel like they're just so easy to blend out. And even if you, you know, think that you messed up, like, it's fine. It's just so easy to just blend, you know, mix all these colors together and it's fine. Versus when you start playing with more specific colors sometimes, you have to make sure you know how to blend because they can get really muddy and just mix and not create a good, you know, transition and things like that. So I know to play it safe, neutrals are always the way to go. I'm using this JH30 brush that doesn't have any color. I'm just going to use this to blend and smooth everything out. And wow, she really went smoky outward like I said I have hooded eyes as well as I have this like line right here that's a little bit covered right now but it makes my eye look droopy so I have to like extend my eyeshadow and just like <sniffs> I am awake I am woke okay I don't want to look like I'm sleep I am woke so time to smoke out the lower lashes and honey boo boo I'm just gonna go in okay so I'm using this Morphe M149 brush and I grab the color Nakey Nakey, and I'm gonna use this to smoke it out. So really creating a line here. Because like I said, I have a line that kind of likes to make my eye look a little bit drippy, so I'm trying to fill it in. And going upward to help also with that V shape. And I'm just gonna go in. Keep applying until you're satisfied with the way that it looks. This is so easy to do on yourself, but when you're doing it on somebody else, like if someone else is doing this to you, I bet your eye goes a hundred times worse. Crazy, super watery. Now with this JH40 brush, I grabbed the color Butt Naked, and I'm going to use this to smoke out the lower lashes so it doesn't look just like a harsh line. It's just going to look extremely smoky. I know that some of you guys don't like to have such a defined smoky under eye, and that's okay. This is not for everybody, but if you do, girl, go in. Smoke it out. Show them girls that you ain't nobody to F with. So now I'm going to go ahead and apply some eyeliner. I'm going to be using this one. This is the NYX Matte Eyeliner in the shade Black. Now, I'm not really going to go all in with this. In the, in the sense, what I mean is I'm going to do most of this off of camera because you make me nervous. You make me nervous, okay? And it takes me like 3,000 years to do eyeliner. And you guys are probably better than I, than I am because I don't really put eyeliner that much. You see, I'm already talking gibberish. But basically, I'm going to do a wing liner because, girl, them lashes I'm going to put on, you can't even. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and clean up the eyeshadow. And I got a Q-tip. It has a little bit of my saliva, but you can use eye makeup remover, whatever works for you. I'm just going to clean this up a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye off of camera and then I'll come back so we can do the final touches. Okay, so I am back. Look at me. I got my face beat. It looking cute. Now, 
I am so excited for this part because we're going to add that pop of color. So to do that, I'm going to be using this Morphe concealer. And this is in the shade white. Blanco, white, white, and white. The reason why is because I want a very clear campus. Campus? Well, it's a canvas so that we can really get that color to pop even more. I put some behind my hand. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a little brush like this one. And I'm just going to dip it into that concealer. And then I'm just going to go ahead and go in. So I'm just going to tap this on the inner corner. You lightly want to go because if you go too heavy, girl, there's no going back. So I'm just removing some of that. And I'm going to blend this out a little bit. Now I'm going to go in with this BH Cosmetics Take Me Back to Brazil palette. This is the matte one. Now it looks like this. And the cut I'm going to get is this one right here, which is this green. Now there's so many greens that I have from different palettes, but I love this one because it has like a yellow tone. And that's what I wanted because it's going to make it look bright. So I'm dipping in this brush. And now we're going to go ahead and tap that on the inner corner so tap tap doing circular motions to really get that pigment to stick to the ojitos i'm gonna go in so that i can do a second layer and there you go Oh my gosh, this color with this hair color it looks so freaking cool. So I want to add a little bit of glitter. So honestly, I don't know the brand of this, but this is the kind of glitter that I want to put on the inner corner, which is like a yellow green glitter. That's why I also wanted to go with that like green neon inner corner pop of color. Now I got this one in the mall. If you guys live in Downey Southgate, I went to Stonewood Mall. There's a store in there. It's been such a long time since I've been there. Can't remember the name, but it's by Forever 21. It's a little like makeup counter store where they sell eyelashes and makeup palettes and brushes and all that kind of amazing stuff. But I saw this one and I just decided to grab it. Don't know the name of the brand because it came in a container that's like doesn't have anything on it like a name brand but anyways what i'm going to do is i'm going to be using this nyx glitter primer and i'm going to grab a little bit with the same eyeshadow brush that i used to pop that inner corner color so that i can go ahead and have something to stick this glitter to so i'm just going to pop this in the inner corner now i'm going to go ahead and just dip the brush into that glitter Try to tap out any excess, access, as, as, uh, but whatever. <laughs> Basically, I have these stuff right there in the brush. And now I'm just going to tap that on the inner corner. There she is. I don't think you can really see the bling bling on the camera right now. But she says she arrived and she's ready. So time for some lashes. I'm actually super excited to put on these lashes. So these are from Rose Glam Boutique. So funny. I was getting a bunch of ads on my Instagram about lash companies. And then I came across these and they are freaking amazing. She has so many different types of like this is not sponsored. She didn't pay me or anything. It's just that I'm so excited because I purchased so many like over 12 lashes. And they arrived perfect like good on shipping and everything. And the names of these lashes is also what got me and then all her lashes are just like if you like exaggerated lashes like you like your lashes to be like up over here in your forehead like on your hairline then these are the kind of lashes that you want to go ahead and check she also has some more like everyday wear kind of lashes but look at this okay this style is called cabrona are you kidding me? Yes, bitch. Yo soy una pinche cabrona, okay? So, yes, I am obsessed. I can't wait to put these on. Of course, I have to customize this just a little bit um, because I feel like these might be a little bit too long when it comes to the strip for my eyelid because they're uneven a little bit. But, again, these are from Rose Glam Boutique. In the style, cabrona, so let's put it on. All right, so time to pop these babies on. I already went ahead and applied um, the eyelash glue on the actual line so let's go ahead and put these on like damn these are humongous okay first of all i feel like <laughs> i just feel like wow i have never worn eyelashes like this this is my first time 
and I'm shook it. I mean, these are huge. With a black eyeliner pencil, I'm just gonna go ahead and put some on the top waterline so I can just help blend these lashes even more. I used to think that I had big eyes because I've been told, but after putting these on, honestly, I don't even think anymore. Like, girl, I have never worn eyelashes like this before. I don't even know if they fit me, like in the sense like if they look good on me, I'm just not used to it, but I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna F it today. Whatever. I'm gonna be applying some eyeliner on the bottom waterline. This is the MAC eyeliner and this is in the shade NC15. So it's like a nude eyeliner, so it's gonna help open up the eye a little bit since the lashes are huge and I put some black eyeliner on on the top. I want to make sure that there's a little bit of a balance. So that we can open up the eyes. I'm going to put some mascara on the bottom lashes. I love applying mascara on my bottom lashes. I just feel like a baddie. And not only that, but if I have some big ass lashes on the top, I need to have at least somewhat of lashes in the bottom. I only have a few things left, so I have to put like lipstick on, which is just going to be a neutral shade for me. And now to the main event here is we're going to be putting this on our face and this is what's gonna help create the final touch of it being like really like you know a musical festival like just any kind of festival you know kind of scenario so i don't know exactly how these are gonna work to be putting them on it kind of looks like it's a sticker like it's already uh, laid out for me to put on but um i think i might want to cut them and individually put them on so let's get started because it's gonna take a minute Honestly, like, I don't even know how to act right now because I'm completely obsessed with the way that this makeup turned out. Like, honestly, this is so good. I mean, first of all, the hair. I was trying to fool you guys, pretend that it's my real hair, but some of y'all are too smart and know that this is a wig. If you didn't, you're like... <gasps> Wait a minute, this is a wig, it's a wig girl, it's a wig, it's a human hair wig, it's the first one that I own that is human hair and I'm so excited. I got this customized by a dear friend of mine named Billy Lamore, he is so talented, he does hair and he also does drag and I'm just obsessed with his drag and his wigs that he makes for drags and he started making human hair wigs and I was like yes 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 because I need it and he did this, he did this for me. Girl, I wanted to dye my hair like this, and I was like, girl, I'm gonna burn my hair off if I dye my hair like this. If you guys don't know me, I have had my hair purple, blue, red, magenta, brown, blonde, black. I've basically done almost every single color possible green, technically, once upon a time. And I wanted to dye my hair like this, but it was gonna come off. My hair was gonna literally fall off to the floor, so what better way to get this than to um get the wig so make sure to check out Billy Lamore I'll go ahead and I'll put his Instagram down below in the description box so uh, yeah I'm just I'm sorry I don't know how to act because girl the hair the makeup the lashes are you kidding me right now look at these fucking lashes at first I was like a little worried about them but <sighs> once you wear these you just I mean literally the style of these lashes are called cabrona and you feel like a pinchy cabrona wearing these I felt like Manny Mall for a second because he says pinchy and he's, I think he says pinchy, but he does, I think, does he say cabrona? I don't know. But I just had like a little mini mop. I'm just going to stop. No puedo hablar ya. Anyways, this is the look. I hope you guys like this look. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit that bell button to get notified whenever I upload new videos. Also, make sure to hit that like button. I love to interact with you guys. So comment down below. As well as check out the description box. Every single product that I use for this makeup tutorial, even when I did off of camera, like what I use on my face and all that, I'll go ahead and I'll put it down on below so you guys can... Um, Check it out. So make sure to do that. Sorry, I just don't know how to act anymore. It's been a minute since I filmed now. Okay, ya me estoy volviendo loca. Ya me voy a calmar. Pero muchas gracias por ver este video. Y no sé por qué estoy hablando en español. Thank you so much for watching my video. I don't know why I was talking Spanish. But <laughs> make sure to follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and TikTok. I post little previews of when I'm filming. And all that goody good stuff. I need to go. I've been here for too long. I need to go. Pero sabes que? 
You know what's the sad part? That I'm feeling so freaking hyped right now, but we're in quarantine. And no puedo ir a perrear. Tengo que perrear sola aquí en mi casa. And that's, that's sad. That is so sad. Anyways, ya me voy a ir. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!